All right, so I made a video of uh, 10 things I dislike about Donald Trump. And now I'm going to make a video of 10 things that I like about Trump. So um, let's get this going here. Number one, he is definitely shaking up the two-party system. Now, yes, he is a Republican, but I mean, many Republicans dislike him. Many Democrats dislike him. He, 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 I, I see him kind of as a Ron Paul, you know, shaking up the system, you know, scaring the establishment, which is awesome. You know, he, he, he's not uh, your rhino Republican. He's not your fascist Democrat, which is which, which is really good. So he's really shaking up the system. I think he's scaring a lot of people. Number two, he's not politically correct. You know, I'm so sick of people saying, oh, don't use the word anchor baby. Don't use, you know, oh, they're, they're, they're immigrants. They're not illegal aliens. Or they're, you know, they're undocumented people. Or they're undocumented. So many fucking words that they've, you know, made up. Oh, don't call them that. It's offensive. No, we're going to call them illegal aliens because they're illegally here and they're alien to our country. That's not offensive. That's just what they are. It's called anchor baby, all right? You know, and, and, and he, you know, tells the truth. He, he, he really speaks his mind about what he, what he feels about people. You know, he calls them stupid, idiotic, dumb, whatever. And a lot of people, are, oh, that's all he does is call people stupid and dumb. Well, no, it's not. He, he does a lot. You know, that's probably only like two percent of what you know. If you watch an interview, like two percent of it is calling you know people names, and that's okay to do. I do that. I do that all the time. Everybody does that. That's perfectly fine to do, as long as you back it up. So. You know, he, he does more than just name calling, it, but but he does do it, which I enjoy. He's not, you know, your typical politician out there who, you know, he, he's he's definitely willing to cross the, the, I guess, the line of political correctness or whatever the fuck you want to call it. Number three, you can't buy him. You know, he, he's self-funding his campaign, which means he can't be bought by special interests. And while most politicians are bought and paid for, and, and while corporations run America, you know, that's, that's what happens. But Trump is not you know nobody can buy trump which is really great number four he's uh he's for the second amendment you know the second amendment is one of the most important things if not the most important uh that this country has the ability to, to keep and bear arms any arms by the way um and not many countries have you know you know is loose of gun control as we do, which is really, which makes our country uh, supreme, in my opinion, to many other countries. We actually have guns to defend ourselves against enemies, foreign and domestic. And uh, and Trump seems to be, you know, pro Second Amendment. He seems to be very, you know, good on the Second Amendment. Maybe not perfect, but he is definitely much, much, much better than, uh, you know, uh, Hillary Clinton or a Democrat out there. Number five, Im immigration. Um, I, I think he's overall good on immigration. You know, he wants to build a wall, which I think is a, is a really good idea. You know, I think that'll, that'll, that, that will deter a lot of people from coming in this country illegally. Uh, he wants to, you know, strengthen the border. He wants to, he wants to deport illegals. You know, I'm not an expert on that, but that seems like a pretty fucking hard thing to do to deport 12 million, is it, Ill illegal aliens? Um... We'll see if that works, but overall, you know, he wants to secure the border, which I like. So I think overall, you know, his immigration plan is a pretty solid immigration plan. And again, much better than the Democrats that just want an open border to bring in Democrat voters and flood the country with crime and shit like that. Number six, he, he's very experienced with the business world. He knows what the fuck he, he's doing. You know, he's built a very successful business worth billions. He's worth billions of dollars. So he's successful. You know, he knows the business world, which will translate to, to to the economy. And then he comes out with his tax plan, too, which, you know, I don't think it's perfect. But, you know, th there's a lot of tax reductions uh, in it, which is which is good. Um, and, it, and it seems much better than the current tax plan we have now. So, you know, I think Trump would do good on the economy because he's been in business before. And his tax plan... You know, it looks like a pretty fucking successful uh, tax plan right there. Um, you know, it, uh, in my opinion, there's, the taxes sh should be very low. I mean, if you look at the income tax, it, it was established. You know, we didn't even have an income tax until 1913. I think we should just get rid of it. You know, get rid of the income tax. But, you know, Trump still has it. 
if you're if you earn less than twenty five grand, I think it is, or, the, or there's no income tax if you earn less than twenty five grand. But yeah, there's many tax reductions in there, so that's good. Number seven, foreign policy. Now he is not one of these neocon Republicans who wants to you know boots on the ground everywhere, boots on the ground, boots on the ground, bomb everybody. You know he you know like what he's saying about Syria. He's like, well let, let, you know let Russia fight ISIS. You know let you know, Assad fight, you know, let, let Assad fight ISIS, you know, he's, he seems much better on foreign policy than, um, uh, a Jeb Bush or a George Bush or any of the neocons like Lindsey Graham or McCain. Um, you know, he, he says Iraq, the Iraq war was a total disaster. Um, so that's, uh, that's good on foreign policy. Again, he isn't perfect. He's like, well, if Saudi Arabia has a civil war, we should get involved. I believe he said that. You know, I don't get the logic there. But, you know, overall, he seems very good on foreign policy. Number eight, the VA. You know, he seems like he wants to uh, actually treat veterans. Uh, you know, and he says that, you know, we could let the veterans go to private doctors too, which is, I think, a good thing because the private sector does things much better than the uh, government in, in many instances. So he actually, you know wants to treat the veterans as opposed to, the, to to give them shitty treatment or deny them treatment. Number nine, he wants to bring jobs back to America. And he, he, he doesn't want to ship all our jobs overseas. Uh, I think this is good right here. You know, he's he says he's going to be tough on China and Mexico. And again, he knows what the fuck he's doing when it comes to economic shit with China and Mexico. Because he's dealt with business all over the world. So he obviously knows his shit there, and he, you know, he he's gonna hold China's feet to the fire. He's gonna hold all these countries' feet to the fire. And I think he's gonna really make America, you know, as he said, make America great again in terms of getting jobs back to our country. And the last one is poll numbers. Now it's hard, to, you know, I like Rand Paul. I like much of what Rand Paul says, but it's really hard to get behind Rand Paul when he's only polling like two percent, you know. Versus Donald Trump, who is at like 27%. You know, it's hard to rally behind Rand Paul and say, Paul, I stand with Rand. Yes, Rand Paul. When he's when he looks very minimal chance of winning. You know, it's hard to really put all your marbles behind Rand, Rand Paul or a Ted Cruz or somebody like that. You know, a Donald Trump is much more appealing, who's blowing everybody out. And he seems like the, the guy who has a top chance of... Now, now this isn't a popularity contest. You know, the, the, the fucking choosing who, who should be president isn't a popularity contest. But, I mean, you know, Trump definitely seems um, more... Uh, it's definitely more appealing because of his uh, poll numbers. You know, 26% versus 3 or 2 or whatever the fuck Rand Paul's at, you know. But there you go, people. There are, you know, I, I, as I said, I did 10 reasons why I dislike Trump. Go watch that video if you want. And then, then this is the 10 reasons why I like Donald Trump. So, so in, in overall, I, I do like Trump. I, I'm, I am a Trump fan. I do consider myself, you know, a, a supporter of Donald Trump. He's really shaking up the system. I agree with a lot of what he says, and he's not politically correct. And I really am enjoying Donald, the rise of Donald Trump. So there you go, people.